Anyway, tell me what you think about Johnny Unlow, and tell me what you think about him interviewing the guy who just decided that embryos, frozen embryos, are children. There's already been a decertification. There is an understanding, a decertifying of the 2020 election. People keep asking when Trump's coming back, and I said he never left. This is Johnny Enlow. Now, I, I, I know what you're thinking. Lone nutcase, right? Except he just interviewed the leader uh, or the chief justice of the Alabama Supreme Court recently. I don't know if you guys watch the news or how late you're watching this video or what, but the Alabama Supreme Court decided that embryos are people, basically, and they cannot be disposed of. Disposing of them is murder. It's insane. Insane. Johnny Enlow is a QAnoner. Dude on the right here. He's a QAnoner, and I, I, I aim to prove that to you if you're unfamiliar with who he is. Let's start from the beginning, baby. Just keep listening to this video. This is late August 2022. He believes that Trump was certified as president in heaven in 2020 and is still the president to this day. He is legally the president of the United States of America. He is spiritually authorized from heaven to be so, which is the bigger deal. And so there is uh, that's there's going to be proof of that. You want the proof of it? There is. Yes, I would love proof. Uh, strategy and optics, why he's not in the seat where actor Biden is. Actor Biden. And I will say again, that's not the real Biden. And and so that's for another conversation. That's not the real Biden. You know what he's saying? He's saying that Biden is a clone. He's he's a stand in. He's fake. He's not a real person. Get help, Johnny, for real. I just want to show you like how absolutely crazy the guy is. And then I'll show you why we should care again. Interviewed the Supreme Court Chief Justice of Alabama. That's pretty important. But listen to what he had to say in this one. This one is from October 14th, 2021. Me ask the prophetic people all the time. When's he going to be back in that seat? Is talking Because he prophesied Trump was going to win the 2020 election. He prophesied it. A message from God. Like if you just knew a little more of the macro, uh, he's doing what he's supposed to. And, and yeah, I just don't know enough. That's the problem. And, and just to add to that, like because uh, I just saw it again in, in, in the spirit of what I saw uh, a couple few days ago was I saw a picture of uh, President Trump playing chess again. No, th th he's couching this as a prophetic vision, right? He saw in a vision Trump playing chess. Uh, President Trump playing chess again. Ah. And and um, and he's very advanced. I could tell he's very good in advance. Like, why even insert that? What does that have to do with anything? But then all the super you back up, you see the higher view. God has him on his chessboard. That's and so good. Trump and his whole board were on his board and he's actually playing Trump. Uh, and, and he's above and he's he's the unbeatable master at at chess. And so that's that's what's always the encouraging thing. And whenever we can't see whenever we feel discouraged with what we're seeing, we usually it means we like we lack the higher yeah. the higher view of, of seeing what's really taking place. Right. Totally. You know, the sad thing is, I know people who know Johnny Enlow and He's a true believer. He's not a grifter. And he's not a bad guy. Truthfully. He's he's honestly a good person. A nice person. He's just absolutely unglued from reality. Check this one out. This is from 2019. This is a year before the 2020 election actually took place. And Trump lost it. So Johnny Enlow says he is given a vision by God of Donald Trump on a motorcycle, revving it, and he's got a red, white, and blue bandana on. Has Trump ever played chess? Has he ever worn a bandana? And, and has he ever been on a motorcycle before? As a side note, if Trump ever rode a motorcycle, he would totally ride the bitch seat, wouldn't he? Quick note before we continue, I want to let you know I just wrote a book. If you want to check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. It's a book about my experiences within Jehovah's Witnesses. It's completely understandable if you know nothing about Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you're a Christian, it's a good reference to use 
for why Jehovah's Witnesses are wrong about their interpretation of the Bible. The last chapter of the book is 100 questions that I have for the governing body. I'm selling the last chapter separately as its own separate guide if you guys want to get that too. So check it out, owenmorgan.com slash book. I'd appreciate that. What into this is, is something more. And then I was brought in real close to the motorcycle and it was triumph, which is further confirmation. And so I was like, Lord, as I'm saying that, what the first thing he said is, he is going to save you from things you don't know you need to be saved from yet. Trump is going to save us from things we don't know we need to be saved from yet. No joke. And then the Lord progressively began to speak regarding that. And he said, you hear in the prophetic language this time in the presidency is going to be a hinge of the ages and be known as before Trump and after Trump because of the way I'm going to use him. I'm using wow. him as a Trump card, but I'm the Trump card player. And so your nation will be known as before Trump and after Trump. And he said, the nations will be known as before Trump, after Trump. And the Lord, it was like, he's like I'm really not interested in your all's vote this time. I'm doing it. I usually give you all that option. This time I'm not. This is a rescue operation from heaven. This is this is a, a, a moment of the ages. This will go down. This time period will go down as a before and after AD, you know, a, a, but. B.C., A.D., depending on what terminology you use now. So he's saying that right now we're on a Jesus-based system, right? B.C., before Christ, A.D., Anno Domini, meaning year, year of our Lord. The separator right now between B.C. and A.D. is Jesus. That's the separator, right? He's saying we're going to move from a system based on Jesus to a system based on Donald Trump. Additionally, he said, you don't even need to go out and vote. It's irrelevant. God's going to make Trump win in 2020. Remember? You heard him say that just now, didn't you? And all these years later, what is his excuse? How does he explain that one away? Well, as it just so happens, I have his explanation here in clip form. You guys have no idea how many clips I have. I, thousands and thousands from, the, from over the years. Let me show you his explanation. By the way, this is called the Hinge of the Ages Prophecy, what we just listened to. And uh, he does have an explanation for why he was wrong. He tried to explain himself away in 2022. It was a January 21st, 2022. Listen to his explanation for why he was wrong. From heaven's standpoint, Trump is the number one government official on planet Earth. So I, I wasn't wrong. See, Trump is... In control after all. I was totally 100% right. He is the president, not just of the United States. He is God's president for Earth at this time. But his assignment, people like, when is he going to be there? In this, the seat where Biden is, is, is way less important than people know. At some point, yes, he's going to, that seat will, uh, will be back officially where it's supposed to. I don't know the timing of it. Uh, well, what what use are you? I thought you were a prophet of God. I had no idea of the full picture, the full range of everything that needed to be corrected and then brought into alignment with the kingdom of God. When I was getting the original prophetic words on it, all I my initial stuff was the world will be known as before and after Trump. When he this is so painfully sad, so painfully sad. Like I said, he's a nice guy. Honestly, he's a good person. D uh, Johnny Enlow is. His mind is just eaten up with QAnon brain rot. Quick interjection, this won't take long. If you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you watch the video to the end. YouTube bases video reach off of watch time, so watching even an extra minute makes the video go further. Liking and subscribing goes a long way too. Finally, it would be awesome if you guys checked out my Patreon. All links are in the description, of course. Okay, back to the video. And I was even looking at my prophetic word from four years ago. It's gonna be an eight year operation for 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 that to for that to happen and so when we when we understand that there are people that are not just more powerful than the president of the united states um they're more pre they're more powerful than the united states is right now so donald trump is in that position i guess he's more powerful than the president he doesn't need the presidency that was his explanation to his failed hinge of the ages prophecy that's sad man that is straight up sad all right, listen to this one. This is, uh, I think this is the first clip that I ever 
got of Johnny Enloe. Not the earliest, but the first. I'm not even sure when it's from. Um, at least 2020 minimum, I think. By the way, if you want any of my clips, owenmorgan.com slash clips. It's a Dropbox I maintain. Not selling you anything. I just don't want them to be lost to time. owenmorgan.com slash clips. All right, listen to this. He won the election in numbers by far. The numbers will come out. They're going to come out very soon. Totally, totally. And how, do, have, you, how do you know that? <laughs> I love it. Basic pushback. Well, I could literally send you numbers from about three different... There's... Oh, do it. Okay, yes, great. That's what I want. Numbers from three different whatever. Yes. I need evidence. You're telling me you have evidence? Give it. Give it to me. Different. There's... Uh, you know, people don't realize Sidney Powell's our top female attorney. That was her reputation before the media, uh, you know, decided she's persona non grata. Oh, my God. Sidney Powell. You guys remember Sidney Powell, the Kraken? She made all kinds of insane, just unglued from reality claims that got her in so much hot water that she's being sued for like a billion dollars right now or something, and she's completely disowned by Donald Trump. I guess they, uh, Enlo and the Trump camp more generally was still in the defend Powell at any cost phase. She's persona non grata. She has proof. She has the proof of all the fraud and the numbers. She has the numbers. Sidney Powell has that president. Isn't it funny that she never turned those numbers over, even after facing a billion-dollar lawsuit? Trump won the election. Lynn Wood was our top male lawyer. He has all the numbers. Dude, Lynn Wood is a, you know, I'm not the guy that insults people. I'm not always bagging on people. Lynn Wood is not a good person. He was Kyle Rittenhouse's lawyer at first, until Kyle Rittenhouse discovered that Lynn Wood was taking advantage of him. He was fleecing him. He ran a GoFundMe for Kyle Rittenhouse, and it earned up to like a million dollars or something to get him out of jail. Didn't even get Kyle out of jail, for a while at least. It was just messed up. Lynn Wood's just not a good person. He has all the numbers. He has all the proof. Mike Lindell, Mr. Pillow Guy, uh, my pillow, he has, and he has videos. And if you haven't seen them, it's because they're suppressed and censored for a reason. That's why we haven't seen him, guys. I'm telling you, man, I go digging. I go spelunking in the depths of the QAnon world regularly. I want to see this stuff. I go as far down as I can possibly get to understand their mindset, to know what's happening, to see the direction that they're moving. I haven't seen anything convincing. It's all complete garbage. If there is anything at all. When he says this here, because they're suppressed and censored. If you haven't seen the videos, I haven't seen the videos. I don't know what videos he's talking about. Is he talking about any videos specifically? Or is he just like making this up? But there are three different sources and they're not even the ultimate source. The, there was actually a sting operation. They knew it was coming. And so he, who is they in this scenario? They knew it was coming. Sting operation. They knew it was coming. I don't know who he's talking about. And so even the military intelligence knows that 49 states, it depends how you count the numbers, but 49 states, including California, went to Trump. They just decided this is not prophetic. This part I'll tell you right here. Well, everything else up to this point has been prophetic. God told him this, that Trump won 49 states. Did he say including California or excluding California? They just decided. Hold on the numbers but 49 states including california oh including california so which state was it that didn't go trump i wonder is it what like vermont hawaii which state this is insane get help johnny it's an inside military intelligence information that march 10th they presented a, re a seven weeks report and they acknowledge they know Everything that he's saying right now is sovereign citizen slash QAnon slash um, evangelical conspiracy. It's all built in together. It's insane. And I could go through the whole thing beginning to end how you know, the sovereign citizen movement believes that the, when the Union and the Confederacy rejoined, it became a corporation and anything they did, blah, 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 I could go through all of it, but I don't even feel the need right now. 
Trust me when I say what Johnny Enloe is saying is sovereign citizen QAnon nonsense. March 10th and what what else was it? Report. And uh, they released a report on March 10th or something? Military intelligence information. That March 10th, they presented a, re a seven weeks report and they acknowledge they know that the election was fraudulent. OK, look, this guy really needs to get help. OK, uh, dead serious. But there's a reason I'm talking about him. This clip is from 2022. It's late March 2022. And this is at a conference, right? They had a bunch of um, politicians and stuff that showed up. Bunch of politicians come here, talk about their politician stuff, whatever they talk about. Listen to this. So we've got uh, Mark Thielman running for governor of the state of Oregon here with us today. Mark. Again, 2022. So these elections have already played out. But for the record, some of the QAnon candidates did win. Some of them, most didn't, but some did. That's what matters. You see Johnny there? showed up at this conference, Johnny and his wife, Elizabeth. Like I said, I know these people. Well, I don't know these people. I don't know Johnny and Elizabeth. I know people who know them very closely. And Johnny is as honest as they come. I can only feel sorrow that he fell down this rabbit hole. Johnny Enlow was a missionary kid, I believe in the jungles of Peru. It might not have been Peru. I don't remember now exactly. But he and his whole family lived in the middle of nowhere. We're trying to preach to tribes and smaller villages in this underdeveloped country. And when he got a little bit older, he had spent his entire life reading the Bible because what else is there to do? He didn't have comic books. He didn't have TV. He had nothing. So he reads the Bible. When he got older, he exposed the flaws in the cult that his family was a part of. He got his entire family out of a cult by using the Bible. That is some honorable shit right there. He used to be pro-BLM. He used to be pro-human rights. Used to be all of it. And then he got sucked into a new cult. The Trump cult. He would do anything for the Trump cult. And it is just sad. So let's continue watching as they invite political candidates, uh, political operatives, like people who, politicians on stage here with Johnny Enlow. And Mark, could you have your team stand with you? And my wife, Rick. And your wonderful wife. Yeah, I believe he's already a politician. I'm going to skip most of the clapping. If you're seeing any jump cuts, that's why I'm just, I'm not skipping anything important. We've got Darren Harbick running for state Senate. Would you stand? And his wonderful wife, would you stand, Kel? And finally, we've got Patty Adair running for county commissioner. All the way from federal to local level politics. That is some concerning stuff. QAnoners, by and large, have lost politically, but not all of them have. There are still QAnoners out there who are absolutely unglued from reality. And, and hold public office. So uh, bottom line on this video here, he introduces a whole bunch of these politicians and asks them to come up and has Johnny Enlow pray over them. For that as well, Lord, so we commission them and yes, whatever Jesus. that means and represents and is imparted to them in the spirit realm yes, of apostolic Jesus. commissioning, let that be released over them. That's insane. That is insane. Now let me... Put a bow on this and show you what the whole point of this video was. I saw this video from some random state-level politician not too long ago. Dusty Devers had no idea who this guy was until he started doing sermons about our embryonic brothers and sisters in frozen prison cell. Like, what? By the way, this is uh, early December 2023. Today, I want to ask and answer the question, what must you and I do to love I, our IVF embryonic neighbors as ourselves? IVF embryonic neighbors. He unironically used that phrase. 
My aim today is with our Creator's help, graciously, to bring before your conscience the harsh realities of IVF so you will respond by faith, in faith, by loving your embryonic neighbor. Why should this matter to you? Well, we've heard why it should matter. Millions of our e embryonic neighbors unnecessarily are being led to slaughter every year by IVF and assisted reproductive technologies. And countless others are cryo-incarcerated in frozen prisons. Cryo-incarcerated in frozen prisons. And I'm thinking to myself when I saw this, I'm like, okay, it's just some lone nutcase, right? No reason to even think about it. Until the Alabama Supreme Court ruled that embryos really are cryo-incarcerated neighbors, basically. The Alabama Supreme Court recently ruled that frozen embryos can be considered children under state law, raising concerns about how the decision could affect in vitro fertilization, commonly known as IVF. This is on AP News, and it was written by Laura Ug uh, Unger, updated February 22nd, 2024. And what do I find? I find Johnny Enlow, after this Supreme Court ruling in Alabama, like state-level Supreme Court ruling, not federal level, I find Johnny Enlow interviewing the Supreme Court Justice, the Chief Justice for Alabama on his show. Johnny Enlow. Supreme Court Justice decided that Enlow... QAnoner Johnny Enlow is who he wanted to talk to on his podcast. I mean, I've, I've played Enlow saying some absolutely crazy stuff. I've played him claiming that Trump basically is God or that he's being used by God or that we're going to base our system off of Trump instead of Jesus. I played all of that stuff. But in addition to all of that, Oh, and I've played some, like, you know, QAnon, Sovereign Citizen stuff. But in addition to all of that, he outright endorses QAnon, openly endorses QAnon, and views Michael Flynn as some kind of special, I don't know what you call, like, arbiter or something. Johnny Enlow had the opportunity to discuss whatever he wanted with Michael Flynn on this broadcast. And what did he decide to discuss? QAnon. Now, if you don't know Michael Flynn, he denies QAnon completely. After taking the QAnon oath, he denies it now because he wants people to take action and do things themselves. He doesn't want people to think that there's like a white knight coming to fix everything for him. But Johnny Enlow brings it up with Flynn and tries to get it out of him. You were essentially revealed to us by Q, trust the plan, patriots in control. It was over before it began. There was continued references to you. Uh, by the way, this is 2022. It's late December 2022. Who knows where the uh, the bodies are buried? Uh, and then, but uh, the, the 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 what what I do hear from you is no one's coming to rescue you. If anything, I, I'd even written in my notes. If anything, a denial that there is Q and all. And I'm fine. We don't even. I don't want you to. Uh, that's not the question. He believes in Q. Johnny Enlow does. Uh, you can I, answer. I, I'm, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if we're live. Are we live? Yeah, we're yeah, we're, we're live. live. Yeah, we're live. Yeah. Well, I'm going to just tell you, I have, I have, you know, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I know what this whole Q thing is. I think it's just, just sheer nonsense. I have to wonder if he asked if they were live because he wanted to imply he would have given a different answer if they weren't. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's, it, do, that's... It, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. I mean, I, you know, you see all the, the, the idiocy all over the internet and these people that... Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Anyway, the point is, Johnny Enlow, QAnoner, interviewed the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Alabama who just decided that embryos are children under the law, the state law or whatever. Psychotic. Now, if you want to watch this interview, it's 45 minutes long. I'm going to watch the yes, whole thing. It's a wonderful opportunity to speak to you. We need to find what God's call is on our life and pursue it. I'm going to watch the whole thing. If you guys want to see it, it's my Owen Unfiltered YouTube channel. Check that out. Absolutely psychotic. If you miss a live stream 
I'll be uploading it in parts later, cleaned up, colorized, have the audio fixed and all that other stuff. So keep a lookout for the uploads. But I do live stream every Wednesday and Thursday morning, 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So um, hopefully I see you at the live stream. Anyway, tell me what you think about Johnny Enlow and tell me what you think about him interviewing the guy who just decided that embryos, frozen embryos, are children. I want to know your thoughts. Tell me in the comments.